Hey internet! So I'm doing my review for Stormglass by Maria V. Schneider and let's get into this. So Stormglass follows the story of Opal Cohen who is a glass magician. We first met her in the study series with Yelena in the last book. I would suggest reading the study series before you read the glass series although you don't have to. Um, the study series is my favourite out of the two of them and any everything that happens in that book is spoiled in this one. That's kind of why you need to read in that order. Yeah, I loved. So Opal in the study series was a small character but I liked her and I loved reading her perspective in this book. So in this book she is four years older, has been living at the Magic Keep for those four years, studying school and hasn't made any friends. So she puts it as all the children dislike her because she's a one-trick pony. No one wants to be a friend. They all just make fun of her and she doesn't have time. She's like, I will just work on magic and stuff like that and live with it. And you find more information out about that at the time. Everyone just doesn't like her because they feel like she's getting papers for helping that one time or that it wasn't just and that she's tricked Jelena into being her friend or something. I gave this book five stars. I would probably drop it down to three or four after reading Seaglass but I still love Opal as a character. Um, a couple of times in this book she didn't really frustrate me but there were a few times where I was like oh why did you do that and then I think I identify with Opal more because she doesn't trust as many people by the end of this book and is starts to get a bit jaded. I this book you follow her as she's discovering more about her glass magic and all of that. Now I'm gonna have to get into the spoiler part of you so if you haven't read this book go because I can't talk about it without spoiling it. If you haven't read it I hope you've gone because we're getting into spoilers now. So with this book I don't know how I feel. I love Cade from the minute that we met him and I love how jaded she got. I'm trying to find his name now, Ulrich. Um, I did not like the romance with Ulrich. I did not like him as a person or a character. And it shows with like Cade how he trusts her really. And he just goes in and goes, I'm making sure you're okay. Okay, I can go. And he was fighting being with her the whole time. Whereas Ulrich was like, you can't go anywhere without me. I am your guardian. And I'm like, you have to trust someone to be in a relationship with them. In fact, when I first heard that they were having a relationship, I was like, what's happened Maria? I love your relationships. Why would you do this? And then realised why, which was great. And it, I think it added to Yelena's character. My other problem in this book was Devlin. I don't know, even in Stormglass, I don't know whether to like him or hate him. Just every time we see him, I'm like, do I love him or do I hate him? I don't know. Do you know if I love him or hate him? Because I don't know if I love him or hate him. It's just so many things. I love that we see Jenko and Ari in this book as well, and we do get to see a bit of Yelena. I love how much Leaf is in the book. Um, he is a great character in Mara. How you get to see how the older sister turned out and how sweet she really is. I like Mara to start with, and now that we get to see more of her. I think her and Leaf are perfect for each other. Like, I'm just so happy that they're together. When Opal discovers her siphoning skills, I was kind of like, don't tell anyone! Why? And then when she tells Yurik or Devlin about her ability to siphon people's magic and to hear the souls that she is encased in glass, I was like, why are you doing this? And as soon as he changed, I was like, this is not good, something's happened. But they were probably the only parts that kind of annoyed me, and they didn't really annoy me that much. They entertained me, if anything. But yeah, Cade is still my favourite. He will always be my favourite. I can't read the reviews about this book or this book because I get too passionate about them. Uh, one thing that I've read is, like, someone was like, Marie didn't have to kill all the glass makers off and make it so... She Opal was the only one who knew anything and the whole time I was like that's not what she's doing. Yes yeah, she's killing them off for a purpose um, and it can kind of see I'm justified but it has to add to Opal's character but I don't feel it was done in a way where Opal's the only one who knows it although it does help her come back for other things in the book. I don't know I just I don't feel it was unjust. I love how we really get to see Opal's um, glass blowing side and how much she has been affected by growing up in this and how she can identify ponies in the glass blow like identify all these things and know all this thing from glass magic because of her father and just how I think the main thing that annoyed me was the fact that she had no confidence. 
um, but by the end of the book she's a bit. Yeah, that's all I can say about that book because I just want to talk about this book now. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely week. If you've read this book, comment below. Probably put spoilers if you're going to post spoilers in the first like line so that people know. But oh, I think I need to talk about this series. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Bye.